Welcome to Bait Torch, episode 2. In this episode, we're going to take our tactics to the next level. After searching through storage, we managed to find another Bait Torch torch. In order to get this episode started, we've decided to attach a GPS tracking unit. We're going to connect it to the torch in the most sophisticated way we can and make sure that it's disguised so no one can tell it's there. In order to make sure that you can't take the GPS tracking device off, we're going to stress test it. We're going to use every method we know to try and make sure that that GPS tracking device will not come off. This GPS tracking unit is designed to be able to track the perp within two meters. It is completely remotely operated and near invisible to the human eye. So we've gotten the torch, we've fitted our high-tech GPS tracking device which is completely undetectable. You'll never be able to see it, they'll never know that it's there. Now next we've got to go out and we've got to find a location and in order to do that I've gotten one of the guys off the streets who knows every bit of this place. So we're going to be going out, we're going to scout out for the location, we're going to find it, we're going to be using these electric scooters because we got to keep it high tech on this channel. Oh crap. All right, so we're traveling to our first spot to check it out, see what sort of camera angles we can get and see what sort of uh, foot traffic is going by. We've got to make sure that we find somewhere that's heavy in traffic. A torch outside all on its own in this sort of area, you never know what could happen to it. After a little bit of discussion and a lot of exploration, we managed to find the perfect location. So here we are, we managed to secure a hotel room just across the street from the position that we've picked. Alright. It's a nice, nice small hotel room. We place the camera looking out this window at where we're going to set up the bait torch. No torch is safe these days, not even at daytime. So as you can see behind me, we've got the bait torch here on the shelf. We've got our camera set up, it's looking out the window and it's aimed at the perfect location. Now it's just time to plant the bait and watch. Because this is my sting operation that I've coordinated, I'll be the one planting the bait torch. With this indiscriminate GPS tracking unit on it, no one will ever see it. And we'll be able to catch this perp in the action. Come on, let's go. Torch has been planted. It's time to get up into the control room. Now that the bait torch has been planted, it's time to sit and wait. We're just gonna sit here, monitor the situation, and see what happens. All right, so we seem to have someone walking, walking over there. He's looking pretty casual. He's looking a bit suspicious actually. He's gone for the torch. He's gone for the torch. Come on, come on. We gotta go. We gotta go get him. That's after him. Come on, we gotta really run. We gotta run. He's gonna figure us out. Alright, we got you, mate. 
He's too fast for me. He's got the torch. I think he spotted the GPS on it. This mission failure. That was all we had in the budget. One high tech torch, one high tech GPS tracker, one high tech GPS to torch tracker installment. But that's it for episode two of Bay Torch. We've had the biggest budget in the whole series this episode to the point where we even got a hotel room like share subscribe stay tuned for more and don't forget torches are never safe here you go man thank you brother Two bucks for doing that is it good yeah that was great <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't film this don't film